Yeah, another draft physics video presentation. I was thinking I would do the Sean Carroll video on quantum mechanics, but that'll take a little while. But it's uh, more about the philosophy of science than it is the uh, science, you know, figuring out the truth. It's more about um, some conversation about how you tell a liar from an honest person or what. Uh, you know what is a good detective uh, you know some sort of conversation about how to figure out what the truth is how not to you know be a dumb little trumpy <laughs> you know think somebody's smart because they say one thing that's correct and everything else is wrong but because of that one thing I'm gonna say he's on my side um, you know it's just this whole battle with the idiocracy, uh, the truthers, the conspiracy theories, it's been around forever. Uh, you know, since biblical times, all these fights about, well, Jesus is coming tomorrow. No, Jesus is coming three weeks from tomorrow. And, you know, some bullshit conversation about complete bullshit, um, because that's where the, the ignorant seems likers force you to go because they don't really think about anything in any kind of real perspective and yes the world has been blighted um, by stupid idiotic perceptions of reality for a long time and this is just the continuing battle against really dumb fucks so this Mickey Farley guy who knows what his real agenda is what really pisses him off you know, he's got to go to all this effort and all this exaggerated bullshit. I mean, an addendum to my previous addendum uh, <laughs> to uh, Photon Stupid Part 2, right? So it's a stupid title anyway. Um, but anyway, a series giving a graceful exit to an insufferable pile of non-scientific garbage, right? Um, and again, the evidence of the non-scientific part is what? What did I unfairly do? Did I show any experiments where I put noise in and I get noise out? And I say, look at all the noise. Yeah. Did I do any of the crap you've done? No. <laughs> so, it's just so overtly, this guy is so guilty of the crime of being a conspiracy theory, nutter, truther, idiocracy, uh, full paid up membership in. And then he goes on to say, uh, poisonous to the workings of a liberal democracy, whatever the fuck that little slogan means, right? And that really just means a um, well-established monarchy or, um, you know, a, a fully functional idiocracy in the sense of let's all just go with the fables, a fabology, because he likes the fables. He likes the little fake stories of reality. Uh, because he clearly doesn't want to accept he's fat. You know, he has a fat ass. <laughs> so he wants to pretend, no, relative to the uh, aliens, I have a very, I'm very lean. You know, some sort of horse shit he wants to believe. And that's all this is about. It has nothing to do with any of this crap that he's upholding the integrity of anything. That he's defending anything called democracy or anything called a liberal or any of this crap it's just a pile of crap he has a little tiny micro penis he's a little resentful putz and that's all this comes down to he's got a little personal problem and um, it's all over everything he's doing again he's got you know he's got images on icons on his videos that have nothing to do with the subject of the video um, you know Look, look at the one comment he's got. You know, this, this is just more evidence of just, oh, this is what the smart people do. This is how smart people make arguments. The average draft science viewer. So he's taking a video from, you know, somebody from like seven years ago. You know, one of the people that watched my videos who's a little touched. You know, he's got some, he's got some problems. So he's just making fun of a retard, as if I couldn't do that to anybody who makes videos on YouTube. I couldn't find one of the people in the comment section and make fun of them. So this is the kind of argument you people think has integrity, right? So that's that's the whole argument, really, right? Is that how how many of you are are such poor human beings, such pitifully lacking character in any way whatsoever? You don't really want to watch a fair fight, do you? 
you just like watching people twist chicken heads off or something. I mean, you're really that fucking moronic that you think these are good arguments or acceptable arguments or, you know, something to in any way validate or endorse. Ooh, pretty bad. So anyway, <clears throat> there is substantial evidence light behaves like a wave. So that's like saying, okay, the ferro cell, right, that Ken Wheeler uses. Is that substantial evidence that light is bent by magnetism? That's really the, what's, I'd say, I'd say there's a whole lot more if I just go by, by image. Okay, <laughs> so the little image of the on-off pattern created by uh, photons. And I, I take that pattern and I compare it to the ferro cell and the little curved lines of light and the spirograph pattern and all the fun. Which one is, is like just superficially more dramatic evidence? It seems that ferro cell wins by a long shot, in my opinion. And so are you asserting that the ferro cell does bend light because it looks like it? You know, because it has all these superficial, it's, it has every superficial cosmetic appearance of being a light bending device. Does that mean light is bent by magnetism? So that's what I would say to you. I mean, it, show me how those that comparison is invalid. You're basically taking one stinking little tiny piece of evidence, right? Where you have evidence all over the place that light isn't a wave. I mean, the laser beam, right? The invention of the laser beam almost should have ended this whole conversation. You know, that's because we know that a, a laser beam, I can shine it through some smoke and the little light will deflect off and go into my eye, right? And so, so we know, we know, uh, you know, that this is what it's doing, right? I mean, do, do you really think it's waved its way here and then it waved its way over here and it went to all these other locations? I mean, it not only went to all these locations, oops, but I hit this, so I take all these back. And then it also waved over, no, no, there's every evidence that it travels in a straight line. Now you're saying it's somehow waving in a straight line. Okay, now that's a weird concept of wave, frankly, because you need a rope or something for that to happen. So are you a rope theorist? Uh, you know, there's no common mechanism that makes that possible. Um, so there's lots of evidence that, no, it's a little bit, and you, you know, you can make the little bit go to different locations. There's lots of evidence for that theory, that it's a little bit that goes to locations. You haven't proven the little bit theory doesn't work. You just claim it. So you're the one with the claims, right? I mean, you're the one saying it can't be. That's what you said in your last video. I'm denying the evidence that it can't be a particle. That somehow you've proven that it can't be. <laughs> when you didn't even come close to doing anything like that. You're the one with the bold assertions. I'm merely asserting my theory is easier, simpler and it's more complete. It answers the questions more completely and it does it with a simpler mechanism. That's my claim. All right. Uh, there is substantial evidence light behaves like a wave. Right, so that's exactly what's under dispute. So one of the key ingredients of their substantial evidence is the uh, what light does in two circumstances. So I pointed out how, and then he has no, there's no counter argument. Um, I pointed out first how, you know, this is what waves do, okay? Single waves, like a single rock in a pond, this is what they do, all right? <laughs> they do this, no interference, all right? But we know that light does interfere, and similar, in, in, this, in a way, we know that it essentially comes down to two point sources. So they create the two point sources just completely arbitrarily. They just say that somehow, you know, if I put the right maple syrup in, in this medium here, that somehow the medium will force there to be two waves here. And there's no theory for why there would be two waves. And then they just do the double slit math and they just turn it into a essentially two wave theory and create their bars. Um, and I really point out how that doesn't seem very scientific. I mean, what's your, your thought process, the mechanics of it? There's no mechanics here. There's no explanation for why there's two waves with a single slit. And then if I make two slits, somehow that theory breaks down and there isn't two waves anymore. There's only these two waves. 
and I've explained how well that's not going to get you this asymmetrical pattern uh, you know that's not going to create an asymmetrical pattern so that's not going to work it's not all the way on the screen but you can get the idea these two waves will not create the pattern that's produced so I'm just pointing out how your evidence has these flaws in it. it's like opening up the ferro cell and saying well look the little ma magnetic bits are doing this okay <laughs> they're not doing any curvy lines they're doing this straight line thing so how, how are these you know how, how are you blaming the magnetism for the effect when it clearly it's just an effect being caused by reflections off these straight lines uh, the curved line is an illusion it's an emergent property so again this whole wave theory I'm not denying the existence of waves I'm denying that there's two types of ways of understanding a wave okay you can have one that's just a byproduct so clearly I could wave bullets I could shoot a gun and I could have the bullets come out and I could stream the gun back and forth and I could create a like a wave with the bullets because they would be in certain locations and they wouldn't be in certain other locations so it would look like a wave and I gotta even send soldiers out as individual soldiers from a battlefield and I could say 100 of you guys go out and then I'll wait a few minutes and I'll send 100 guys out and I'll send 100 guys out you know and that, that could look like a wave but you know the soldiers aren't really tied to each other I gave them all individual orders and they're all just running as fast as they can and so it's just a wave because a byproduct just nothing substantial about it at all but clearly we know that mediums have tension like water that the atoms are in fact stuck to each other and in atmosphere they're they're sort of stuck to each other by the fact that they're pressurized that is they're forced to be closer to each other than they want to be so they have tension between each other they're repulsing they're repelling each other so water molecules are attracting each other air molecules are repelling each other <coughs> and those two forms of tension and, and like if I was I can make a I can make a wave machine you know by taking using tension torsion I can tie all a bunch of little bars together on a piece of steel I can weld them on and then when I move one of them, I move all of them because the steel turns and twists. And I can create the appearance of a wave. Okay? But that's a mechanical, we understand the mechanical process. I'm just transferring energy from one thing to another thing. And that's what water does. Water forces an atom to compress another atom. And then that atom compresses the next atom. And that atom compresses the next atom. And the pressure moves that way by essentially one atom piling on and then the piling on moves to the next atom and it piles on and piles on and you know so we can understand that kind of wave there's different kinds of waves so you're using you're using even using the word as if there's one thing that's a wave and uh, you know that wave means one thing but it's really you're arguing for some sort of medium clearly you're defending some sort of idea that there's a field of stuff that's got tension in it and so if I if I jiggle one piece of it it jiggles everywhere but we kind of know though like I said with laser beams it isn't jiggling everywhere <laughs> it's jiggling in very narrow paths which doesn't make any sense does it I mean how do you prevent the wave the the maple syrup from spreading uh, the effect I'm arguing that it's, you know, this is the physics here is is that this is sand it isn't it isn't a medium you can't make waves in it waves aren't going to work all right anyway um, there is substantial evidence that light bends like a wave uh, what way I don't know what that means um, is or is not <laughs> whether it is or it you could write this a little better buddy uh, depends on your interpretation of I guess there's an of somewhere how you interpret the evidence okay depends on how you interpret the evidence now there's only one way to deal with evidence fairly or unfairly and you're scrutinizing evidence you're not supposed to be interpreting evidence you're supposed to scrutinize the evidence you're supposed to analyze the evidence and that's all I've done in my videos is analyze the evidence just like if you analyze the ferro cell, you'll see it has nothing to do with bending light. <coughs> bending it, curving it, doing anything like that. All right. Um, 
uh, whether you acknowledge the existence of the evidence. So he's making a claim that somehow I'm not acknowledging so the existence just, uh, of the another evidence. Another quick addendum to the previous oh, video. Okay, we'll I play. Will, of course, make future videos uh, debunking Gary's uh, science. So let's understand. He hasn't debunked anything yet. Not at all. He hasn't pointed to any real hard good evidence or good facts. The only thing he's done is shown wave experiments where you can clearly distort the outcome of the experiment. You can fake it. You put garbage in, you can get garbage out. You put interference in, you can get interference out. Now, is it his theory that light does that? That when we shoot one color light into a, a slit experiment that somehow the light is already interfering with itself and that's why it comes out as interference? <laughs> is he going to make that argument to be consistent? No, I don't think he is. So clearly it's just for the purpose of distortion. It's he's attempting to distort your view. He's attempting to use a tool that he shouldn't be using and uh, he shouldn't be making an argument that this is a comparable circumstance because he knows it's not comparable. He knows light doesn't bang into light. You know, you can shoot lasers at each other all day long and they won't bounce off of each other or wave function or do any other such thing. So, you know, <coughs> it's just cheating. You know, just shenanigans. There should be a shenanigans court you know, where people can go to shenanigans court and just point out how that guy's lying and cheating and being uh, um, being dishonest and nasty and creepy and deserves to be in some way punished for perpetrating a fraud, attempting to make people believe something that he knows can't be true because he's resorting to desperate efforts, you know, photographing people's houses and shit, doing all kinds of irrelevant crap to... Um, make an argument and that that's totally invalid bullshit and shenanigans courts would convict you you're guilty really guilty overtly guilty you're a lousy rotten piece of shit as a human being you can't make an honest argument you can't make an honest statement so again this there is substantial evidence you know light behaves as a wave is that what the evidence indicates? I don't think so. There's substantial evidence. So an on-off pattern is all you need, huh? Science, it's scientific theory uh, that will focus on, on more evidence. So he, he really considers that wave tank experiment real evidence. He's proven that their single slits make interference patterns because he put a bunch of noisy waves into the experiment and he got noisy waves out. He thinks that's credible evidence. You should be convinced that he's really proven the argument by cheating so overtly. Uh, including more evidence that light behaves like a wave. Yeah, well, we won't see any of that more evidence because they really don't have any other evidence. There's no other evidence in the universe. There's every evidence that photons travel huge amounts of distance in the universe traveling in a dead straight line and couldn't care less about being any kind of wave, whatever the hell that would be. A tiny little wavy thingy. A completely undescribed form of wave. Wave of what, in what, what are you talking about? I mean, so, you know, the word wave just doesn't mean anything to these people because they really think that they can do it both ways. They can have it both ways. They can have a medium that allows something to wave, I guess, like this. I don't know. In a straight line that's a ray. And then the, this other argument that this is what waves are. Waves are these things that any noise here goes out in all directions, goes everywhere. <laughs> they want it both ways. Which we have not seen. But right now I just want to make a, a short point, a succinct point, about the nature of evidence and of what kind of evidence we should accept uh, uh, when we're formulating a scientific theory. Right, and, and I've made the same argument. So he says the evidence we should accept is Eddington. Eddington is a great experiment. Okay, it proves that there's gravitational lensing and the light is bent by gravity twice as much as uh, anything else. And when it, the facts are, it's an awful experiment, never repeated with commensurate technology. Fact, uh, fact, perfect eclipse over the 
most technically advanced country in the, in the universe could be. Um, and they didn't repeat the experiment. Satellites in space never repeat the experiment. Yet, they're convinced. I'm saying that's really weak evidence and it's really unconvincing. And you're saying I'm a threat to liberal democracy because I'm unconvinced by your completely uncompelling evidence. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how laughable this is. I'm not allowed to say, that's really weak evidence. And I'm not allowed to look at the pharaoh cell and say, that's an illusion. There's something underneath it causing that effect. I'm not allowed to say that. I'm a threat to liberal democracy by saying that, by doubting Ken Wheeler. I'm not allowed to doubt Ken Wheeler's statements. He'll sit there and say, look at it. But he also cheats, right? He has his little solar thing where he says the light's coming in from all directions when we know that's not the truth. So he lies. He pushes bottles against walls and lies because he knows that the plastic's dimpling. So yeah, he does a lot of little fake experiments too. I mean, this is so dishonest. that I'm sitting here getting ridiculed by people that are so dirty, so smelly, so scummy. And they're pointing their finger at me. Amazing. Just amazing that this could happen in a liberal democracy. Like any kind of civilization wouldn't say, no, you can't do that horse shit. You can't just piss on people, you retard. So, uh, first of all, there is substantial evidence that light behaves like a wave. So I'd argue that if substantial means that all you need is a ferro cell. So we have substantial evidence that light is bent by magnetism. The ferro cell is all we need. We don't need to analyze it. Don't take it apart. Don't take the two slit apart, you know, the experiment apart. Don't point out that the patterns don't match. It's, uh, you have no explanation for it. Don't go into the details. Just look at the superficial image and believe. That's what they want you to do. That's, that's what the idiots need. Uh, whether you accept that conclusion or not you know, depends entirely on how you interpret the evidence. Yes, whether you look at it. Did you look deeply or did you just look superficially? If you look deeply at their, their theory, it doesn't work. Huygens isn't consistently applied, so that doesn't work. The patterns don't match. There's nothing else that needs to be said. It's crappy evidence. Uh, or e whether you even acknowledge the existence of the evidence. So, more crap, right? There's absolutely no evidence that I've ever not acknowledged experiments or acknowledged that they've been conducted. It is your side of the argument that pretends magical experiments that were never performed were performed. You're the one asserting things that you haven't come close to proving. Uh, or whether you believe there's some kind of a massive conspiracy. So again, more straw man nonsense. Why do you have to lie about it? Um, I'm pointing to the conspiracy. The conspiracy is idiocracy. People are stupid and they want to believe in nonsense. They want uh, a truth that their asses aren't fat that, and that they don't smell and that they're not ignorant. They want to believe they're intelligent and stylish and beautiful and all these things that they are not. And science is just one of the things that they lie and cheat to get what they want out of it. This is serving, it's just like news now, right? There's no news. There's agenda. And that's all people have is agenda. Okay, They're, they have no integrity as intelligences. Nothing inside of them humbles them when they assert one of their opinions, like I should know what I'm talking about. They don't have any sense that they should be informed, that they go look at the charts of the Federal Reserve, or they go look at the charts for the FDIC insurance, or they actually do any work or analysis at all. They'll just get their opinion from the magical ether. <sighs> Trump's farts. For 400 plus years, uh, to conceal, uh, you know, so it's not 400 plus years, it's 200 plus years, or th maybe 300. Um, and again, there's, I, there's no conspiracy. I've just pointed out the facts. I mean, Newton did, okay? So, you know, we're back to these, these simple exaggerations. You claim Young is a significant contribution to science. I claim that's just absolute nonsense. Newton had already done this experiment.
shine light at an impediment what happens to the light okay so he did the two outside surface experiments and he did the two inside surface experiments what happens when i shoot it at surfaces that are pointing towards each other so when i when the surfaces are pointing out what does the light do what does the light do when it's pointing in so newton already did these experiments long before young and all young did was yes he put the two experiments together in one experiment so yes newton didn't do that okay um and but that's all and then young didn't even discover because he did it so crudely he didn't even notice that there's two patterns okay he didn't get the two pattern part right so he didn't even make the contribution of recognizing that there's two patterns here that there's a dead spaces are in here that didn't come till later but i'm just you know so yeah i'm saying that a lot of what newton did was good science newton didn't do something stupid like saying well, it could be that the space is bent and, you know, the stuff falls into the bend. You know, he didn't come up with something stupid because, you know, in Nate Newton's day, guess what? There was a lot of other competing theories and competing ideas. It wasn't a monocracy. You know, it wasn't just believe what the, the Borg tells you. They had to actually defend their theories, okay? They had to actually have their theory analyzed and people would point out how, oh, this pattern doesn't match. And what do you mean that turns into two waves that doesn't make any sense so they would get scrutinized <clears throat> you know just like i'm doing uh their other colleagues would weren't all in agreement they weren't all coming from the same borg defending the same nonsense they weren't all brainwashed christians christianizing the world they had to fight with the muslims and all the other beliefs as the hindus and all the rest of them were also at the argument table they didn't get to just win by de declaration so yeah, it's a different world, different kind of science is being done. And I'm, I've, I'm making the overt claim. All you're doing is your your <clears throat> your science is all hyperbolic uh, propaganda. That's all it is. It isn't anything about doing the real hard analysis. It's just about convict the black guy. You know, somehow make the evidence fit your theory. Quote mine the hell out of it to just establish your your truth and then you know build the appropriate camps to put the, the guilty party in the the nature of reality um but to boldly <clears throat> claim that it is impossible that light be okay now it's not my bold claim is it no i am claiming that yes you can particles can look wavy but doesn't have anything they're not connected to each other the there's no ether there's no glue that everything's moving through it's just completely unnecessary um that's the, the underlying argument i'm making the ether is superfluous to the function of the universe you don't need to have one um and uh, i'm clearly arguing that yes uh particle theory explains it more efficiently that's my argument I mean, if you want to try to explain how it's waves, then fine. I'm saying there's things that makes waves, in my opinion, silly, like laser beams. The conversation kind of should be over. Um, it's not waving anywhere. The photons don't really go to Pluto and then decide, oh, that was a waste of time because we landed over there, so we'll just retract all the energy we spent going to Pluto. Yeah, things don't go everywhere and then decide, no, I only went here. That's just made up mush. I have no reason to believe it's a wave. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I have no reason to believe. I'm not saying it's impossible. That's your claim. You're the one saying it's impossible it can be a particle. Cave like a wave because of some a priori logical reason. Uh, that's resorting to a medieval way of looking at the world as resorting to... Well, that's what you're doing. <clears throat> you, you're the one making that declaration, and it's completely unproven. You haven't gone through every manifestation of particle theory and proven them all impossible. You haven't shown one single fact that indicates, oh, yeah, it really does go everywhere. I mean, if you could prove that a photon goes everywhere, well, then, yeah, okay, if you could prove any of that stuff. But you can't with anything called anything called legitimate evidence or you're not even close to legitimate evidence let alone substantial evidence did you have anything called substantial evidence no way you're not even close 
So yeah, you're the medieval jackass defending the the freaking religion. That's all you are. You're just a little Borgite, part of a little idiocracy Borg, defending your little silly notions of reality, your little silly fables. Um, a syllogistic form of reasoning used by the Catholic Church during the times of the Inquisition. So, more nonsense, right? I mean, it really doesn't have any comparison at all. I mean, I'm not, first off, we're not making judgments in that sense. We're just analyzing evidence. And all I did was point out simple facts about how your evidence is weak and flawed and the things you're asserting, most of the physicists assert, aren't true. They don't even happen the way they're describing it. They're drawing it wrong. That's what I pointed, that's my big crime. I'm pointing out how they're drawing it wrong. And why are they drawing it wrong? Well, because if they draw it right, it doesn't work. <laughs> Just as the math is clearly and overtly assigning the point sources to the surfaces. This is the, the what the math says. The, these are where the point sources are, okay, <laughs> are the surfaces. Why would they do, why would the math work that way if it was a wave? Oh, yeah, it wouldn't and have no place in a modern scientific world that we live in where you know we have technology yeah and what do you use it for fake news you use all this technology to be a bunch of propagandists for a bunch of agendas and you just don't care about the truth anywhere in here that's it that's what the evidence indicates you're you're all just ignorant people with agendas very dangerous and we base our, uh, you know, assumptions and our decisions on empirical evidence. And that doesn't mean anything, right? It's all, I use the word empirical, like it's kingly or something. Okay, there's no such thing. I, I mean, the pharaoh cell, you could argue, is empirical evidence. It's right there in front of you. You can see it with your own eyes. Yeah, the light's in a curve. Ah. Is that what it is? It's evidence you can't deny? It's evidence I can't point out how... Nah, no, it's not what you think it is. It's not what it looks like. It's more complicated. Um, this is a flat-out rejection. What we're seeing in response to this series of videos is a flat-out rejection. Okay, so what we're seeing in response to your videos is pointing out how it was just shenanigans. To, to show the wave tank that's way over-excited... Um, uh, as evidence of um, how single slits create interference patterns was just obvious lying. There's nothing else to call it. It's just, you're just being a liar for the cause, right? You're distorting the evidence, distorting the controls of the experiment to make it look like something it isn't. So, I mean, that's what I pointed out is that you're just, you'll lie for this cause. Whatever your cause is, you will lie for it. Clearly. That's what I've proven in this court objection of the scientific method yes that's not the scientific method quote mining the evidence is not the scientific method that's my argument my argument is you all oh, it's all you ever do is quote mine the evidence you just try to find evidence confirming and you ignore all evidence not confirming uh, our, our, uh, for exoneration you're clearly it's a rigged court um, and you're just propagandist and even to the even to the possibility of empirical knowledge so there's no such thing this is again these the, the verbiage people use is more evidence of people playing a game just like when they make the mathematics insanely convoluted you know with their silly symbols and you know they can't just write the, the it's a it's a constant yet they put it as a symbol why don't they just write the constant um you know that kind of thing so just more evasion, you know. Time around the 16th century, there was a shift in how knowledge was attained. Prior to that, all knowledge was of a top-down sort. Oh, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. The wheel was invented, this, you know, lots of um, Archimedes, people long ago, blah, blah, all kinds of stuff was being discovered slowly but surely our knowledge base was increasing and there wasn't any magical moments it's just horse shit there was a moment when we started actually financing science which was probably a good idea 
meaning that you look to an authority, be it the Bible, the Koran, the church, the Pope, what have you. All right, and who's doing, who's playing the religious shenanigan games here again? Is this the guy defending Darwinian evolution, or is this the guy trying to do exactly the opposite? Playing little, quote, miny games, trying to prove that somehow carbon dating doesn't work, or fossils aren't made that way, or blah, 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 blah. What's, what's this guy have every appearance of? Yes, the religious distorter, the cheater, for the cause. The guy with a, you know, he'll stick a little microphone in his ear, you know, so he can pretend to be psychic. This is the guy who's already bought one of those. Uh, Aristotle's writings, and you make syllogistic reasoning from those sources. Okay, a syllogistic reason. Yeah, this is just a waste of time. So, you know, I'm making the overt claim that you're the ones not doing any analysis. You're just going based on the superficial image, all right? Because if you do any analysis of the two slit, you find out it doesn't work. The theory doesn't work. The wave theory doesn't work. It doesn't account for what you see. And that's what I've demonstrated. And you've demonstrated an overt effort to pretend, no, 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 it does, it does, it does, it does, when it clearly doesn't. Reasoning. Uh, a syllogistic reasoning goes something like this. All men are mortal. Uh, Socrates is a man. Right, so this is another uh, straw man kind of argument. I have never in my life used logic in this idiotic, all-or-nothing way. I would never say, uh, because something has one feature of something, it is has every feature, or some other kind of bullshit like this. This isn't any kind of rational way to do logic. Logic doesn't make those kind of statements. Uh, you know, logic is about having more information, not about having less. Logic isn't about reductionism to the point where you lose every detail that could matter. It just wouldn't be done that way. Smart people don't sit there and say, birds fly there that's it i'm done with birds <clears throat> you know they don't do that so they don't make these mistakes you're the one who has the science that makes the mistake of saying well there's an infinite number of stuff inside that little you know inside this opening there's an infinite number of little waves that's your kind of silly logic and mistakes uh, therefore socrates is mortal that's a syllogism Okay, this type of reasoning was lampooned brilliantly uh, by uh, Monty Python. Um, you know, when they're trying to. Uh, oh, yeah, when he hit the guy with a fish. Burn a witch at the stake um, by uh, using a syllogistic form of reasoning uh, to conclude that all witches um, float on water and that um, because ducks float on water uh, if a witch is heavier than a duck then she's not a witch uh, rather than just testing whether or not uh, a witch floats you, you have to use some sort of a syllogistic reasoning uh, which is a rejection of empirical evidence and a rejection of empirical knowledge <clears throat> so so this is a convoluted effort to somehow imply that I've sit there and rigged the trial Okay, by making it impossible for any woman not to be a witch, clearly. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, you know, so where's the evidence? So where's he going to show us what I've said or what I've done or what I've illustrated that in any way demonstrates that I said, uh, you know, witches are made of wood, wood floats. You know, that's really their argument, right? That witches are made out of wood. <laughs> you know, idiot. If you we know that wood doesn't always float, you know. I believe it is impossible, uh, just uh, for some a priori logical reason. In other words, you say, you use the words. So this is just more, just such a dodge, right? So is this the evidence of somebody who has any kind of will to get to the truth? Where he sits there and accuses me of doing something where he can't point to anything I've ever done or said, where any, at any point I said it just magically does. All right, that's not the argument. It just magically is a truth. I have said, well, yes, the universe has to be made out of something, so you have to believe in protons and electrons, you know. 
if you can't do that much, then well, really can't have a conversation about reality then, right? If we can't start with any fundamental mechanism, then there's no point in having the conversation. Now, I'm willing to concede. I can imagine your ether. So if you want to give me an argument, I can imagine it. It's okay with me if you want to start with that, at that starting point. I'm just saying it doesn't work. It is a fallacy to believe that light is a wave. Then you are behaving just like a uh, calf... Well, so I said it's a fallacy to believe it based on the evidence that they have. Their evidence sucks. That's what I've said over and over and over and over again. For 10 years, what I've said is your evidence is insanely weak for your draconian and hard conclusion. You've closed all uh, conversation based on evidence that is pathetic. It's so not very dramatic. Not You haven't piled up any. You've basically said the defendant is as tall as the guy who committed the crime, so uh, that's enough evidence, isn't it? He's the right height. We don't need anything more than that, right? He's the right height, so he's guilty. The priest or the pope from the 16th century during the Dark Ages, before the uh, advent of the scientific method. You and what is the scientific method to propagandize I, again as I've pointed it out I mean I've shown all these high uh, badged uh, professors saying things that just flatly are not true drawing it wrong I mean I've shown them doing it and here he is accusing me of distorting something or rigging something when all the rigs seem to be clearly coming out of your mouth and the people you're defending you're the one with the wave tank, okay, uh, experiment that you're saying has high integrity when it obviously has no integrity as a scientific experiment because it's clearly, its only purpose is to show something that isn't true. You are, in effect, a, um, a backwards thinking, uh, you know, and you're a liar. I mean, this isn't, you know, you don't have to go backwards to find liars. Liars have been around a long time, and you're just a liar. Um, Catholic Church apologist during the Inquisition. Okay, and that's inexcusable. Uh, nobody should take this shit seriously. Uh, yeah, and nobody should take you seriously, but more importantly, people should in the sense that you're a real threat. Liars suck, and they should be punished. You shouldn't get away with this crap where you say I said things I didn't say, where you say I made arguments I didn't make, and you say that somehow I didn't demonstrate something when I'm demonstrating it, I've drawn the picture of it, and you haven't countered the argument in any way whatsoever. Show me how the two symmetrical waves create the pattern displayed in the two-slit experiment. You can't account for it. Your two waves can't do it. Uh, it's completely unscientific, and it's such a shame that there's people who believe this absolute nonsense, uh, and they're living and taking advantage of uh, the technology that uh, could only exist because... Okay, so this will be another lie, right? We know where the technology came from. It didn't come from wave theory. Wave theory didn't uh, invent the blue LED. 25 years of experiments did of tweaking, of sitting there playing with it and seeing what you could do to make it work better. That's all. There was no theory that made it. Well, we did it because we had a wave theory. Wave theory hasn't accomplished a damn thing. It's just a lie to say it did. Because of um, a scientific view of the world. Um, so, just more horseshit. Again, show, prove it. I just prove it with one device. It took them 50 years. They had the, they already had the transistor back in Einstein's day, technically, in the sense that they already found out that that uh, you know certain metals and certain um, materials could absorb light and create electricity. And it took them over 50 years to to finally make a transistor out of that knowledge. The shift from a syllogistic type of reasoning to an empirical uh, mode of reasoning uh, was um, could be summarized by the following example. Oh, good. We'll have an example. It'll, of course, be horseshit, but whatever. Reasoning is just one thing. You be fair to the facts. And you don't establish a fact until you have evidence to believe it. 
and that's all there is. There's just facts. You combine facts and you make new facts. If you put garbage in, that is garbage facts, and you mix garbage facts together, then you get garbage out. And so there's a high, uh, high incentive and a high value to being very careful about what you say is a fact. I'm demonstrating that you're not careful at all, that you just don't give a fuck about any of that caution crap. You preposterously exaggerate your evidence. There is substantial evidence light behaves as a wave. There's not substantial evidence. There's incredibly weak evidence. Um, in the 16th century, um, it was assumed that if you wanted to find out whether a person was a Christian, you looked at a man. So this is more wasted of uh, time. <laughs> you know, what the, you know, you're just this prosecutorial, right? You're just a liar. You just keep saying things that I've done something that you say is beyond the pale. You can't play the clip of me going beyond the pale. So you're just a liar. Where I can play the, the clip of you going beyond the pale, beyond the standard of, of fair and reasonable. I showed you playing this stupid clip of these agitated waves, waves that are already producing interference with each other, waves already at different frequencies. You shove them through a single slit and then you blame the slit for creating the agitation in the water. I mean, you're clearly a fraud and a fake. That's clear shenanigans. It should be beyond the scientific pale that any asshole would do that. Yeah. And you looked at the region. I mean, it wasn't like you're guiltier than, you know, the other frauds like the ferrocell people. At least it does look like what they're saying. It does look like lights being bent. Agitated waves going into a slit doesn't look like an honest experiment at all. Uh, that the world was divided in two, and you said, well, this part of the world is Christian, uh, this part of the, you know, world is what, um, uh, Mohammedan. Uh, this part, this part, and then evolution showed up, and it really doesn't have a part, does it? The only part that was evolutionary, okay, was the part that had some sort of education. And who's acting it like the educated person? You're certainly not. And you said, well, Christians live in Christian regions. Uh, Mohammedans live in Mohammedan regions. Uh, but uh, it was never uh, thought that you could just do something as simple as knock on someone's door and ask them, hey, are you a Christian? Okay, that's th that changed sometime around the 16th century. With I, It hasn't changed at all, so that's kind of horseshit right there. Um, because clearly you're part of a board. You're just part of you were you were indoctrinated into this mushy theory, and you you are have accepted it uh, just like if you know like any other kind of crap accepted from uh, mother to baby. You've just been programmed by a Borg. You, you, this whole agenda of you, everything you believe in, is believed in for some stupid reason, not a good reason. You haven't done any educated analysis, you dumb fuck. You're just a little flag waver watching the parade. The advent of the, uh, with the scientific method, and uh, people realize that the best way to find out, uh, to answer a question like that, is to go door to door and ask people, "Are you a Christian?" Okay, this is a bottom up. I don't even know what the, I don't even know what kind of sense he thinks that makes. Like it would make any sense for me to go door to door in you know whatever Iran and ask if people are Christians. Guess what? I'm not going to find too many. Mode of reasoning. They're going to have a really big door, you know, with big bars in front of it. I bet. I bet the Christians will have big fences around their house. You won't even need to knock on the door. You just look for the house that has three or four fences around it. As opposed to a top-down mode of reasoning. And this bottom-up mode of reasoning, this empirical mode of reasoning... So, more nonsense again. It's just as... It's just as step-by-step uh, step follow the evidence as evolution is. And that's all you need to do. It's just follow the evidence. And it'll lead you to the truth. But if you follow your, your propaganda and your distortions and your lies, then you'll be led astray. You'll be led to bullshit. It's that simple. It's garbage in, garbage out. Garbage facts as premises. If Once you start establishing something as a truth, okay, based on crap evidence, well, then you're going to be in big trouble. 
is what these science deniers are rejecting when they say things. So again, it's science denier to, to point out how the wave theory doesn't make the right pattern. That's science denial. It's science denial to say they never did those detector experiments. That's just horse shit. Um, that's science denial. Uh, science denial to point out that, you know, the radar experiment can be just reconfigured and it'll be obvious that it's just jamming. The waves never interfere with each other. You can prove it. That's science denial. It's like it's a fallacy to believe light is a wave. <clears throat> I, I, again, I'm saying there's no reason to do it. There's no reason to believe light is a wave. There's no good reason. That's what I'm saying. There's no evidence. The evidence for a wave doesn't fit and the evidence of a particle fits all over the place. It works everywhere. <laughs> okay, waves don't work everywhere. And that's a fact Einstein sort of pointed out and lots of Feynman pointed out. So he says Feynman is a science denier because, you know, Feynman said in his 1980 lectures, um, it's not a wave. You know, he said it. <laughs> so he's a science denier. He says it doesn't work like that. The photo detector doesn't work like that. The, the mechanisms aren't consistent with waves. So he just made the point, you can't just say it's a wave because there's all kinds of evidence that it isn't. He didn't say what it was beyond saying it's a probability. Tough. That was his, forget about thinking about it anymore because we're not going to get the answer. That was his, so that wasn't science denial. To say, forget about thinking about it. I'm just, you know, this is just such duplicitous nonsense because, again, every individual can be scrutinized in terms of how well their, um, uh, you know, how perfect their analysis of anything is. And, and um, I'm saying that you'd have to be an insane nitpicker to say I've cheated anywhere or I've distorted or I've quote mined the evidence because I haven't. It's just a fact. I've dealt with the real arguments that have been made about different things and um, I haven't run away from the challenge at all to defend what I'm arguing. And instead of arguing that evidence, he's doing this bullshit now. I mean, any kind of slander or, you know, whatever. You just, he can't, he can't argue a straight up argument on the evidence. He has to just keep arguing from some sort of implication. He'll just say pedophile, like I could say about him. Why are you hiding anyway? I mean, if you have so much integrity and so much knowledge, why aren't you sharing it with the world? And obviously all these other villains out there, you couldn't be bothered. Somehow I'm the villain you have to go after, you know, with your lies and your slander. Not that I'd really want you arguing against Ken Wheeler if this is the way you're going to do it. You know, if all you could resort to is lies and distortion as an argument, then you're not good for any cause. Certainly wouldn't want you on my side. All right, so that's probably enough of that video. We'll take care of other videos. Uh, there, yeah, this one, quantum mechanics. So it's good to hear the silly rationalizations for the whole history of quantum mechanics and the, you know, again, it's not even defined. Each individual defines it differently. He doesn't even believe in the Copenhagen interpretation and yet he'll defend it. And it's taught and it's, uh, blah, blah, and he doesn't <laughs> believe in it. I mean, that's how bad their science is, is that the teachers are actually saying, yeah, well, we teach rubbish. I mean, I don't believe it, but everybody else does, so we teach it anyway. I mean, it's pretty funny, you know, when you think about it. I mean, the teacher's actually saying we're teaching stuff that, yeah, I don't really think is true. <laughs> I mean, you know, that should be a non-starter. You know, when your teachers don't even have confidence. Come on. All right, so till the next time.